Okay, so we're going to make a blackberry pie. Uh, let's show all the ingredients, sister. Blackberries. <laughs> Sugar. Corn starch. Water. Okay, and in here, uh, I have two and a quarter cups of flour. And I have approximately a cup of grease. You can use the grease of your choice. I, I use half butter and half lard. Goat butter and our pork lard. Yes. Or bear lard. Yes. Bear lard makes really good pie. Okay, so I just this is a pastry blender. So I use this to cut that in. We're sort of haphazard when we make our desserts a bit. Because I'm um, not going to roll this out or anything. I'll show you in a second what I do. Okay, so once you've started to get it, get it blended in there, then we're going to add some water. Be careful on the water. So our homemade lard and butter are a little softer than what you would have typically. So I don't need as much water as you might need. So basically you're just going to do this until until you can put it together good. And a pinch of salt as well. Yeah, a pinch of salt. Well, I, it's probably a little more than a pinch of salt, but I certainly don't use as much as the original recipe I had calls for. You can also replace part of the flour with powdered sugar for a sweet pie. Yeah, it's almost like a cookie crust. We love that for, um, like, lemon bars and things like that. Okay, now be a little bit careful here, all right, because you can very easily get um, overworked, overworked, and that's going to make your crust not be flaky. I don't have enough flour. But too tough. Too much water. Okay, that's getting better. All right, I'm being very careful. I'm not squeezing it really hard or anything like that. I'm just barely touching it. Okay, so normally you would be taking half of this and rolling it out for the bottom, half of it and rolling it out for the top, or you can do your pie open-faced and you don't need a top crust, but it's a little harder to tell when it's done if you do that. Or you can always do a, a like a Dutch top, like a strudel, a streusel top with brown sugar and butter and flour. When, and I, really when I make blackberry pie, I leave it open-faced. This is our 100-year-old pie pan. We don't know how old it is, but we had it a long time. We've had it at least 30 years. And it was old when we got it. Okay, so I'm just going to divide that roughly in half. Uh, so, it, because, again, like I talked about before, on a homestead, sometimes you are you're just busy, busy all the time. Uh, this is faster, okay? Faster than trying to roll it out and get it perfect. And you are working it more doing this, okay? Which can make it unflaky if you're not careful, but just try to be careful how much you handle it. I'm laying it a little on the edge here. So we'll have something to crimp. And I probably have put a little too much in here, it looks like. I'll know here in a second. I'll take out just a bit. Now look. Just cover up all the little holes. I'm sticking to my hand here. I've got my oven preheating at 400 degrees. I am really, I'm not very good at following what people say things should be at. So often something should be at 350, but I'm cooking it at 400. We like things to get done fast. Yes, we do. <laughs> Cook everything on high. <laughs> okay, so that's going to be our bottom crust. The top crust, I'm just going to haphazardly smash out and put on the top when we're done here, okay? So now or we're gonna, leave it open face. Or leave it open face. So I'm going to switch over to my sister, who's going to do the filling. If you leave the pie open faced when it's done, you can tell because you jiggle it like this, and it doesn't move. It's almost like a custard would be, that you're looking for a, a certain jiggle. Okay, so those are your blackberries. What is that, Summer, about? Well, I had it in the measuring. Four or five? It's yeah, probably, probably four, four or five cups. cups. Obviously, that's going to depend on the, the size of your pie crust, uh, you know, your pie tin. If you're doing just a little tiny pie tin, then you need less than you do for a deep dish. And this is probably, I don't know, a quarter or a half a cup. And I actually put water. Oh, 
put water in it so that it won't be lumpy. Bring that in there. And then sugar to taste. This is going to depend on. If you don't have cornstarch, you can put dry flour in there as well, like you do with apple pie. See, and it's jumped out. But it kind of, when you'll know you have enough um, cornstarch when it kind of has a, like a. Mom used to make a blackberries and milk dessert. You just pour pour milk in your blackberries. And uh, that was a dessert for us. She had cream peas on toast, okay? This is better. <laughs> when she was a kid. Or lettuce rolled up with sugar. We have a lot better desserts now. So, just so it kind of looks a little bit milky. And then taste it. And it'll taste just a little bit cornstarchy. Hey, don't be afraid of sugar, folks. Sugar, sugar is, is sugar is our friend. Yep, especially when it regards not necessarily that grape of blackberries. I was kind of scraping the bottom of the barrel. We're like seventy-five percent of the blackberries are gone, whether by bears or dry weather. Then just pour it in. Oopsie, and that's perfect for your pie. And you can just pop that in the oven just like that if you want, or make the top crust. That's blackberry pie.